Hi there, I'm William, and you're watching my NYU Math PhD application video. It's extremely difficult to choose a single favorite theorem or subject in mathematics. My first thought was to go with topology, given that my original introduction to higher math was learning about using loops to accentuate the difference between solid disks and circles. But on second thought, that's all about differentiating between shapes, saying that some shapes are topologically equivalent, and leaving others out. Since this is an application video, I figured I'd rather not take the risk of subliminally suggesting that I should be left out in the rain. Another obvious contender is Euler's identity. I mean, it is a bit trite, but what could possibly be more beautiful than relating together five fundamental mathematical constants? Then, I remembered that there is an ongoing dispute in some circles over the primacy of pi or 2 pi, otherwise known as tau. Although I know full well what shaky grounds I'm on, I'm still a bit of a traditionalist myself. However, that, plus the fact that it is a bit too banal of a choice, was sufficient to send me searching elsewhere. After much deliberation, I finally settled on graph theory and its applied cousin, network science. It's come a long way from its roots in the generalized Koenigsberg bridge problem, as an aside, Euler was probably far too awesome of a mathematician. But anyways, it was in fact my experience using network science techniques to analyze proteins that led me to switch to graduate studies in mathematics. The simplicity of using edges and vertices to model everything from bridges to molecules to power grids is a quintessential display of the power of mathematics. By Abstracting away so many of the details, the same techniques can be applied to a wide range of different problems. My most recent project was to develop a local method for finding communities and networks. Although the name is taken from the social sciences, where communities has the regular definition, communities can also be taken to mean tightly connected clusters of vertices in any network including, for example, one large collection of tubes we all know and love. I haven't had the time yet to try out my method on these particular networks, but really, I'm just excited that once this paper gets published somewhere, I'll finally have an Erdős number. Now that I've, I've exposited at some length about interesting areas of math, I suppose I ought to answer what it is that I hope to do with a math PhD, and why I feel NYU is a good match for me. It goes without saying that I love math, and the Quran Institute has a storied history in applied math especially. However, a lot of my previous training is actually in the life sciences, and I'd like to continue contributing in that realm. Furthermore, computing, especially in this modern era, is an essential tool for many applications, and one into which I've invested a not insignificant amount of time. My hope is to work at the intersection of these three fields, in some shape or form. I must confess to not yet knowing exactly what problems I'm hoping to tackle, but given that Courant has wide expertise in both computational biology and scientific computing, as illustrated by the two recent research training groups it hosted, I feel that it'll be a, a terrific starting place for fulfilling that aim. And that's a wrap. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.